After my last Raspberry Pi build, I decided to challenge myself with the task of making a functional laptop style device. But I set a couple parameters for myself. One, I would only have a budget of about 100 bucks. Two, I wasn't allowed to solder or do any wire melding whatsoever. I had to rely solely on the ports of the Raspberry Pi itself. And three, it actually had to work, and work pretty decently. And this is the result, my $80 Pi Top. And today, I'm going to show you all how you can make the exact same thing, no solder skills required. So let's go over what I use for this project. First, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3 with an 8GB SanDisk micro SD card. I also have a 7 inch touch display and a 7 inch tablet case with a built in keyboard. I'll put links to all these in the description below. I went with this style case because of its built in keyboard and because it has this little latch right here that holds the display in place. Next, I put my Raspberry Pi in this case. This step is completely optional, you could use the board bare if you'd like. But I applied a little bit of Velcro on the back of it, and a little bit of Velcro on the back of the case. That's where I'm going to keep the Pi during its operation. And sticking true to the parameters I set forth, it's as simple as plugging everything into one another. Now to power this unit, you have numerous options. You could either plug this thing into the wall. Me, what I'm doing right here is using a 10,000 milliamp USB power bank. And once you plug it in, the thing fires right up and is good to go. The operating system I decided to go with is Ubuntu Mate. There's plenty of other operating systems for the Raspberry Pi, but I just feel like this one is probably the most user friendly and gives more of an experience of what I'm used to. I went with a touchscreen because I didn't want to have to rely on the use of an external mouse. If this isn't an issue for you guys, you guys could shave off even more cost of the build by opting to go with a touchless display. It's functional enough to handle routine tasks such as word processing. You can web browse and even watch your favorite YouTube videos. The thing can even handle some mild gaming. So that's my cheap and effective Raspberry Pi laptop build. It might not be the prettiest thing I've built, but it gets the job done. I'll put links to everything I used in this build in the description below. And if it's something you guys are interested in, maybe in a later video, I could show some of the tweaks I made to the operating system to make it run the way I want it to. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.